I had a great experience as postdoctoral fellow at CPLC. There are two key things that I learned. One is to be uh, exploratory and open-minded and be willing to dive into a new research area and collaborate with people who are not in your research field. The second thing is uh, have a very friendly and supporting collaborative environment. Um, at CPLC, there's no barrier for me to talk to other faculty members in the center. I think the CPLC has provided me the resources to step out of my comfort zone and do something that I was really excited about. As an assistant professor next year, one of the things that I really hope to bring with me is the spirit of the CPLC. It promotes collaboration between its experimentalists and its theorists, and this is something that I feel passionately about. CPLC stands for Center for the Physics of Living Cells. It is a Physics Frontier Center. The Physics Frontier Center program is an NSF program that supports teams of scientists where their collective effort can lead to uh, transformational advances in frontier physics. So people talk about the Urbana style of physics. This is really a, a model for doing research that dates back to the days of Bardeen at University of Illinois which is to have teams of physicists work together, especially experimentalists and theorists, to tackle big problems. And that's really a model that we've adopted in the CPLC. This is the home of real pioneers who really showed us how you integrate theory and experiment to make important discoveries. And we hope to do the same for a biological physics. The CPLC is involved in a number of community building activities. Among them are our weekly biological physics seminar series. Our faculty meet weekly to discuss science. We also have student organized events and symposia. And lastly, we have a variety of education outreach events. The most well known of them is our CPLC summer school. I learned about CPLC and the summer school in 2009 when I was at the BPS meeting and I participated at the first uh, generation of summer school student. One of the things that's really special about the summer school is that students work on the same techniques that we use in our research and they're really doing things that are hot off the press. Uh, we've essentially developed summer school modules based on papers that were published just a year before. Nowadays, I uh, went back every year to participate in the summer school as a teacher. So I ran a super resolution module with uh, Dr. Zanluzi Shorten. So it's a combination of uh, super resolution imaging and the stochastic simulation. So we give students hands-on training on using the microscope and use that to quantify uh, RNA copy number in the cell. And then we use the experimental data to run the stochastic simulation. When the theoreticians come to our summer school, we hear again and again uh, how humbling it is to try and go do an experiment. Several of them have never held a pipette in their hand before, and it gives them some sense of the difficulties that the experimentalists have, and really how to judge the success of an experiment or not. Another thing that's special about the summer school is that we have a one-to-one -one student to TA ratio, so they really get guidance instruction throughout. Being able to participate in the CPLC summer school as a TA has allowed me to expand my teaching skills as well as network with other graduate students and postdocs and I think this will be uh, valuable in my career development. What really attracted me to the CPLC program is that it provides an independent space for me to develop my own research interests and it does this by providing funds for research as well as uh, for conference travel. I've been able to give invited presentations at the National ACS meeting, the International IPOLS meeting in Paris, France, as well as the Proteins Gordon Research Conference in New Hampshire. And those are things that I wouldn't have been able to do without the CPLC. CPLC postdoctoral fellows are quite autonomous. They're given their own material and supplies funds, and they really get to direct their research direction. And we find that really helps them in the future when they set up their own labs to have the courage and the confidence to look into new directions. I'm currently an assistant professor in the Department of Biochemistry and Molecular Biology at University of Chicago. I built my own lab culture with the same philosophy or idea. Uh, I encourage students to uh, dive into new questions and come up with new approaches. 
and also intentionally recruit students and postdocs from different research areas so that they can help each other, uh, uh, collaborate, collaborating with each other, and, and learn from each other.